Wonyoung is one of the most popular and beloved idols of the fourth generation, but behind her massive popularity, there are a lot of factors which have surprised people. Rumors of her private life, speculations of whether she was involved in the rigging scandal, her mysterious background keep people asking the same question. Who really is Wonyoung? Wonyoung has always been a gifted person. Ever since she was a child, she attended flute, piano, violin, and swimming lessons. She also got tutored in mathematics and English. Quite the genius, huh? Wonyoung got scouted by Starship Entertainment very early on when she was just 13 years old. It was very accidental too, as being an idol wasn't in her plans in the first place. She was attending her sister's middle school graduation ceremony when she caught the eye of a scouting agent. She trained under Starship Entertainment for a year and two months before she got the green light to join Produce 48 in order to perfect her skills. Her being a contestant was quite controversial at the time though. It's nothing new for literal children to be trainees or even debut, but it still causes uproar among netizens every time it happens. However, one Young had enough talent and charm for people to ignore the controversial parts of this altogether. Yes, her initial evaluation could have been better, but the public had already fallen in love with her. Or some of them at least, which is no surprise. The fact that she was made to perform an inappropriate song as a minor, having more screen time than some of the other contestants, and the big amount of fans she had were all things she got hate for. You know, things that can't be helped or controlled by her. She was also criticized for her nasty attitude towards her bandmates, which happened whenever she breathed in the wrong way or looked particularly tired or angry. The hate against her hit its peak once she finished Produce 48 in first place with 338,366 votes, debuting as the center of the project group Eyes One. This is when all hell broke loose. People thought that something fishy was going on as they believed that Won Young did not deserve to be the center of the group compared to contestants like Sakura or Unbi. And with the whole rigging scandal where the director of Produce 48 admitted he had rigged the votes in favor of four different contestants, people said that there was a chance that Won Young's position wasn't what it was supposed to be. Netizens thought that Mnet stopped Sakura from becoming the center because she was Japanese, and Koreans aren't exactly friendly with them. Also, to some viewers, Won Young suspiciously jumped in ranks even though they claimed she didn't improve a lot from the very beginning of the show. A Produce 48 fan wrote, Won Young's final ranking was 7, and they made it 1. Sakura's real ranking was 1. It was fishy because Taehyung's final ranking was 12. Her final ranking was 3rd. Again, they changed it. I think there were more Japanese members if they did not rig the votes. But even though there was never any proof of which members were rigged in, and the fact that Won Young did an amazing job as the center of Eyes One, her fan camps were flooded with hate comments for months after the group debuted. These comments didn't stop once she debuted under Starship's newest group, Ive. But on top of the attitude scandals and the accusations that she was untalented compared to her bandmates, she was also accused of being favored by the stylists. Yeah, it's not something she can really be blamed for, but again, being an it girl comes with its downsides. With all the issues she was facing, there was also a lot of confusion about what her real nationality is. This is something that hasn't been cleared up to this day, but let me tell you why people suspect that she might have a Chinese or Taiwanese background. Because of South Korea's problems with China, Chinese idols aren't treated the best. Just look at the comments Korean netizens make about Espa's Ning Ning. Things aren't much better for Taiwanese idols either. Like remember what Tui went through for holding a Taiwanese flag? All the hate she got? Because of this, it's understandable that all companies would want to avoid the back backlash and xenophobia against their members, and that's why they might want to hide Won Yang's true nationality. The rumors about her possibly being Chinese or Taiwanese started because of Produce 48's official website. In the past, they put Won Yang's name as Chang Yuan Ying, but changed it to Jiang Won Yang shortly after. So what's the big deal with this? You can't romanize a Korean name directly into Chinese without using Chinese characters and having it written out in Chinese romanization. Plus, Mnet used to put the nationalities of their contestants in their bios, but strangely, Won Yang's nationality section was left blank. The feature was removed after some time, but it still raised a lot of suspicions among people who noticed it at first. There were also speculations that Won Young owned a Taiwanese passport, but it all turned out to be a misunderstanding as they're the same color as Korean ones. This argument also doesn't hold up because if Won Young was truly Taiwanese with a dual citizenship, she'd have to pass a Chinese Mandarin language test, and she isn't exactly fluent in the language. Not only that, but the few times she spoke Mandarin, native speakers said that she sounded exactly like a foreigner. She was also born and raised in Seoul her whole life, so it wouldn't make sense for her to have a Taiwanese passport. There were also pictures of Won Young holding a Korean passport, so the rumors were debunked before they could spread more. Plus, there have been actual news articles that talked about her parents' nationality. There was a Taiwanese news outlet that claimed Won Young is half Taiwanese in an article about Produce 48. The article says, In fact, she is a Taiwanese girl. She has a lovely and cute appearance. Her father is Taiwanese and her mother is Korean. There was also an alleged ex-class 
classmate of Won Yang who said that she was Chinese, but neither the article nor the alleged classmate can be considered reliable sources. Then another rumor came about Won Yang's grandfather, Jang Yong Sung, that claimed that he's Chinese and used to be a man of a very important position. He allegedly moved to South Korea early on and used to be the general secretary of the Association of Overseas Chinese in Korea. Another source said that he runs a Chinese restaurant in the neighborhood of Yonhui Dong in Seoul. Based on these sources, Won Yang's father is named Jang Wal Sung and is also the CEO of a large Chinese restaurant chain. But again, none of this information is confirmed. A user on Reddit also claimed, according to information that's been added to her profile, it says she's like one third or fourth Taiwanese, with her mom being half Taiwanese and half Korean, and her dad being ethnically Korean, but growing up in Taiwan. I would assume due to this, she can speak Chinese, but who knows? Her personality definitely gives off Korean vibes, though I'm not sure. But it's important to remember that in the end, these are all rumors which have been flying around ever since Won Young was in Produce 48, but neither Won Young nor Starship have ever confirmed nor denied them. A fan even claimed to have called up Starship in order to confirm or deny the rumors about her nationality, but they said that Starship didn't give any statement. There are two options for what's going on though. The first one is that the whole thing about Won Young's name in the Produce 48 website was a misunderstanding. There's a possibility that Mnet or Starship used the name Chun Yuan Ying in order to register her into the show, as Han Jiao names are used for ID purposes. They probably just forgot to change it to her Korean name until the issue got big enough to get their attention. The second possibility is that Starship is hiding her actual nationality in order to avoid controversies and make her look better to the Korean public. This wouldn't be the first time they fake something about their idols. I mean, they literally changed the birthdays of three Wuju Sonya members in order to match their zodiac sign concept. What's stopping them from hiding Won Yang's nationality? It's not even hard with how little information we have about Won Yang's private life. In general, Won Yang has been very quiet about her life before she was an idol or her life outside of her job. There's not too much that people know about her beyond what she's already told the public, but this has made everyone all the more curious. Her nationality isn't the only thing that was confusing people. There are also a lot of speculations that Won Young actually comes from a wealthy and powerful family. Even before she debuted in Eyes One, she was seen wearing a lot of designer pieces. She also went to an English speaking school when she was a child, which is quite expensive and can't be afforded by many. Won Young also said that she had never used public transportation, which means that this girl is loaded. Though this was used as an argument against her in the rigging scandal. Some assume that she had paid her way into being the center, and even later on, she was accused of being a silver spoon and getting special treatment because of it. So yes, all of her so-called scandals are based on rumors and speculations and people trying to tear her down by making up excuses about her popularity. So anytime you see people coming up with all sorts of rumors to discredit Won Young or make her look bad in the eyes of her fans and netizens, take them with a grain of salt. Now that we found out that insane people actually pay others to leave hate comments on her fan cams and videos, who's to say that people aren't also paid to start rumors about her? You never know these days. What are your thoughts on this? Share them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day. Bye.